One of the biggest stories coming out of China is the recent news that Xi Jinping will be making his first trip outside of the country in nearly three years. The world has been waiting to see where President Xi's first foreign visit would be, and if he indeed chooses Saudi Arabia, this would send a massive signal to the world. Of course, Saudi Arabia's largest trading partner is the United States, and Saudi Arabia exports its most precious commodity, crude oil, exclusively in US dollars. But President Xi and China have bigger plans with Saudi Arabia and we could be seeing the beginning of a major decline in the United States dollar as a global reserve currency. Let's break it all down in today's video. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, together they are known as the BRICS nations, and this important network of developing countries comprises around 23% of the global economy. They share 25% of global investment, 18% of global trade in goods, and in 2021 recorded $8.55 trillion in merchandise trade, up 33.5% from the previous year. These economies are growing and now China has proposed a free trade bloc among the BRICS nations in a bid to further enhance economic ties. Given their strong position in the global economy, the BRICS nations are now looking to develop a parallel system to counter US dollar hegemony. And guess what technology will be at the center of this new global currency? Central Bank Digital Currencies, CBDC, and it just so happens that China is the world leader in CBDC development. Now, of course, Western media has largely ignored this story, most likely because a change to the United States dollar hegemony is something that most media outlets would definitely not want to publicize and be shared around the world. But the US government has been irresponsible with this currency for far too long now. 80% of the US dollars in circulation have been printed within the last 24 months, causing inflation to rise to a historic 40-year high. In addition, countries around the world are frustrated with the United States government ability to control and manipulate countries by threatening sanctions and cutting them off from US dollar trade. BRICS nations are now looking to create a new basket-based reserve currency. Now, this story was covered by investment firm ING, with Russian President Vladimir Putin stating, the issue of creating an international reserve currency based on a basket of currencies of our countries is being worked out. Together, the BRICS nations also issued a statement stating that they were working on setting up a joint payment network to cut reliance on the Western financial system. Now, one of the main reasons that Western media has largely ignored this story is that most analysts believe that BRICS is too small of a network and their impact on the world economy pales in comparison to the United States, Europe, and other Western allies. However, this is where US foreign policymakers often make the largest mistakes by ignoring the power of smaller nations, most especially when they join together in a strong alliance. Yes, it's true, BRICS only represents 23% of the global economy, but they also represent 42% of the world's population. Let's not forget these countries also share rapidly growing economies, substantial military capabilities, and increasing political influence. But here is where things start to get very interesting. As reported in this article from Arab News last month, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Turkey are now all considering formally applying for membership in BRICS. This news came shortly after Russian media also reported that Argentina and Iran have also already begun their preparations to join BRICS. But these aren't the only countries who could be part of BRICS in the future. Two months ago, Xi Jinping in China hosted the 14th BRICS leaders meeting in Beijing and emphasized the acceleration of the organization's expansion process. To make things even more interesting, in May of this year, the foreign ministers of Kazakhstan, Indonesia, Nigeria, the UAE, and Thailand all attended a BRICS meeting for the first time. Now imagine if BRICS is able to expand its free trade network and invite all of these nations in it would result in a free trade network of 15 countries spanning four continents around the world. All of a sudden, BRICS has the potential to change the world order and alter the US dollar global hegemony. I've been paying attention to global markets, and there have been some interesting stories that show us a change in how China's currency is being used around the world. Let's start with this article from Business Insider, which highlights India's top cement producer recently purchased $26 million of Russian coal and completed the entire transaction using China's renminbi. It prompted one Indian currency trader to state, I have never heard an Indian entity paying in Chinese Yuan for international trade in the last 25 years of my career. 
This is basically circumventing the United States dollar. In this article from Business Insider, we see that the US dollar retained its dominance in 2022, but China's yuan gained share among global currency reserves. The key point from this article is that central banks around the world want to manage the risk of potential US sanctions. You see, the real risk of holding too much US dollar isn't the US dollar declining in value, but instead being sanctioned by the US government and not being able to use the US dollar that a country holds. This is why many central banks around the world want to reduce their US dollar holdings and would certainly be interested in this new global reserve currency that the BRICS nations are proposing. This graph from the Financial Times shows how the US dollar's role in central bank reserves has declined by six percentage points over the past six years. It might not sound like a lot, and don't get me wrong, the US dollar still holds a commanding lead as the global reserve currency. But again, the landscape of banking and currency reserves are slowly changing. Note this article from Bloomberg that shows the 1000% increase the Chinese Yuan and Russian ruble trading. In this graph, we can see the clear growth of currency trading between Russia and China since the start of the war in Ukraine. But China is smart, they know how to play this game well, and China is being very careful not to upset its trading partners and risk being sanctioned while also maintaining its relationship with Russia. But let's bring it back to Saudi Arabia and Xi Jinping's potential first visit outside of China in three years. China and Saudi Arabia have an incredibly close relationship as bilateral trade between the two countries was $65 billion in 2020, three times more than the $19 billion between the US and Saudi Arabia in the same year. Xi's goal with traveling to Saudi Arabia will be to secure more deals with energy and food. But as the Wall Street Journal reported in March of this year, there is another major decision that could be made with this visit. Saudi Arabia is now considering selling oil to China using renminbi. China has been a close partner with Saudi Arabia and has implemented infrastructure projects in the country worth $40 billion between 2014 and 2019. Saudi Arabia is transforming its country through various infrastructure projects and is a key member of China's Belt and Road Initiative. Ahmed Al-Faraj, a Saudi professor of international relations, goes on to state, the Xi Jinping visit will be a clear message that Saudi Arabia has strategic allies other than the United States of America, and that it is a strong country that cannot be overcome in the Middle East. Now, as we come to the conclusion of today's video, let me share you with you my final thoughts on the United States dollar and its role in the global economy. For the foreseeable future, the United States dollar will be the major reserve currency, and this is unlikely to change. Instead, we are going to see more countries reduce their dollar dependence to avoid potential US sanctions. I think it's important to note that Saudi Arabia and other Gulf countries have their currencies pegged to the United States dollar. So their goal is not to replace the US dollar, but instead leverage their close relationship with China to send a clear message to the United States that Saudi Arabia has many options for global partnerships, most notably the United States' biggest strategic rival, China. With Xi Jinping set to make his first international visit to Saudi Arabia in three years, this sends a massive signal to the world that the future of our global economy will see significant changes. Citic Securities, a leading Chinese investment bank, wrote in its mid-year outlook that sanctions have disrupted the global financial order and they will accelerate de-dollarization. In this article from Bloomberg, we can see that China's central bank has signed swap agreements with 40 countries and regions worth nearly 4 trillion yuan. That's approximately 590 billion US dollars. Everyone, the global landscape is changing and it's so important to keep track of these amazing events that are going on. As always, we're gonna be continuing to report on China and our global markets and everything that's happening in this world. But now it's time to hear from you. Would you like to see the renminbi play a large role in the world economy or would you prefer to see the United States continue its dollar dominance? Let me know in the comment section below and thank you for making it to this point in the video. If this is your first video, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in supporting the content here, I'm gonna also drop a link down below to join our Patreon page where you can receive exclusive weekly updates from me. Everyone, my name is Cyrus Jansen. Thanks for making it to this point in the video and I look forward to seeing you all in next week's important episode.